Welcome to ProStitcher Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. Do you have questions about how to crop a design? Let me walk you through the basics of cropping a design. So let's take a look on the screen here. I need to open a design, so we'll go to File, Design, Open. And I'm going to choose from the One PS Design Blocks folder, this one right here, a block of lines. And let's set up a couple of different, well, actually just one area, and I'll show you the different ways that you can crop a design. So to create an area, which you need to be able to use the crop feature, first you select the Area tab. We'll do a two-corner area here. That allows you to only set two points, and it creates a square or rectangle, rectangular area that is straight on four sides. All right, so I've got my area set up. Now I want to crop. To crop, we select the Modify tab and then crop on the ribbon. Over here in the sidebar, we've got two, actually we've got three different features of how we can crop our designs. First of all, we can crop on the outside. So when I crop on the outside, as you can see on the screen, the outside of the design that is outside of the area is removed. And I have the option to leave my edges open which you can see here, I've got all the little start and stop points, or I can touch edges and it closes those off, and the design will actually stitch in between those. If I touch my view tab and turn off my area and go back to modify, I can show you what I really mean here. This is with the edges closed, this is with the edges open. So you can choose whether to have that stitching or not. Let's go back to the view tab and I'll turn my area back on and then we'll go back to the Modify tab. Now, if I do a crop and I decide I don't want it, I can just touch the No Crop button here in the sidebar, and it will go back to the way it originally was. Let's take a look at inside cropping. So if I do that, it removes the inside part of the design. And once again, I can do the edges or not. All right, let's go back to No Crop, and I'll show you how to crop with the Start and End feature. We do this by changing the start and end points. So to move my start and end points, let's go to the Pro Stitcher tab. Select New Start and End. And then over here in the sidebar, we have these two columns, a start column and an end column. And they allow me to move my start and end bullets. The start bullet is green and the end bullet is red. Now I can touch these buttons here at the top the ones here at the very top move one stitch at a time. The ones here at the bottom move one design point at a time. And the ones at the very bottom underneath the words jumps move from the jump of, of one row, for example, to a second row. I just moved that a few design points. Let's go ahead and move our end ones also. I'm going to move this one a few design points. and. I'm now ready to use the start and crop. So let's go back to my modify tab. And you'll notice as we switch back and forth between these tabs, whatever button on the ribbon I had selected last is still selected. So my crop button is still selected. It's green. I don't need to touch it again. Now let's try the start and end crop. Well, look at that. I removed part of the design. This is a fun way to create your own designs. And those are the basics of cropping.